tutorial that I keep getting asked for time and time again is how do you add accents to characters, to glyphs? So in Glyphs 3, you can actually do this automatically um, to create those diacritics, those um, accented characters from your existing font. So let's assume that you've already created a font that's got your basic English character set. You can then just add in combining accents to create those new accented characters. So then you can add language support for uh, Central Europe or further afield as well. So let me show you how we do that. So this is our font. We've got everything in place um, for just like a very, very basic typeface. Um, we've got everything from A to Z, uppercase and lowercase, and we've got our marks. Now these, I need to point out, are the legacy marks. And these are probably the ones that you'll see uh, pop up under the marks to then um, select and add. So what I've done is I've added those marks in there to fit with this typeface. And first of all, what we need to do, and what I need to tell you about is the I dotless and the J dotless. Now these are important to put in um, right at the beginning because it's those that are used um, for creating those diacritic, those extra accents, accented um, I's and J's and not the ones with the dots on the top, um, as you might think. So those need to be made first. It's simply going down to add and then just typing in I dotless, J dotless and creating those from your original pieces. We're gonna create our combining marks and we can do that quite easily by right clicking the Western European. So if we scroll right down to the bottom, you've got A acute comb, right down to tilde comb. The comb, that just denotes that this is a combining element. So if we generate those, you always need to generate these first because if you generate these pieces first, it doesn't have anything to generate them from. So we've got our legacies and the best way that I found doing this is to open up the new one, the diuresis comb, add component and we will just type in diuresis. So this is, um, this is coming directly from our diuresis um, piece, which is this, this one, and that's part of the legacy one. And then we just need to do the, the rest of these. So this is a dot accent, grave, so those are all our combining marks now. So the next stage is to add our anchors. Now you can do that by going by right clicking and going to add anchor and putting in your own um, anchor marks. But the easiest way that I know how to do is go to set anchors under glyph or use the um, shortcut key uh, command and U. And what that does is it just places everything that you need for each character. And another really good shortcut is to select everything, including the combination, the combining elements, and do exactly the same thing. And that'll apply it to everything. So just to double check, we have a top left, top. You can see that all our marks there are being shown and the marks on the bottom are being shown as well. that's all fine so some marks you will or some um, uh, some anchors you will find aren't quite in the right place so you will have to just give them a little tweak so now we all we need to do is create those extra elements so we should have everything in here with a um, with an anchor with two anchors so this has a top uh, underscore top and a top. Um, the reason for that is that 
these can be stacked. So some languages have more than one uh, diacritic element and this just allows it to then stack dynamically but you don't need to worry about that best thing to do is just leave them as they are because some programs can actually build um, build glyphs themselves okay so what we need to do now is build our pieces let's just do everything so we've selected all there you will see that certain elements like the oe the o slash they're not going to automatically build um, and it's just it, some pe some pieces will need to be built out of um, out of some of the components that you've got but what you can see here is that we now have our elements or our um, a circumflex has been built from those individual elements so it's come from the a and the circumflex comb as well the comb combining circumflex to make that and the really good thing about this is if you have all of your characters all of your A's and you make a change to your main A it will make that change across everything so it just saves a huge amount of time in using those combined pieces rather than copying and pasting everything across uh, over and over again it just be, means that you've got a far more consistent font throughout um, and then all you've got to do is just build these extra ones which is far less effort than building all however many there are so that's it you can now use that font to write in French or Swedish or maybe even German. There are going to be a few extra characters that you'll have to put in there because they're uh, unique to um, a particular language. But the majority of those characters that we've made automatically, you know, that saves so much time. As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to learn a little bit more about font design, why not check out this next video, which is all about corner components and creating serif fonts. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.